Hello again and welcome to Love Darts. Today I've got a great review for you. This dart proved somewhat difficult to get hold of recently, selling out in many stores and with Brexit and Covid, these darts were one of the most sought after darts of the year. Now was it just the lack of supply that made these darts so popular or was it something else? Let's take a look. Nice, vibrant, professional looking packaging with a superb moody picture of Cullen looking like he means business. I like the window segment showing you the product clearly and also these cuts that show you the stems. The back gives you some details about the cuts and grip types and it's a really nice jump off the shelf design, especially with the radiant red grooves begging to be played with. Let's get inside and check them out. This comes with the circular point protector that I quite like actually and holds three barrels snugly in the dense foam insert. At the bottom you have the three supplied stems and at the top the Rockstar flights which look really appealing all together and makes me not want to take them out and ruin it all, but we will anyway. For those new to darts, the barrel is the most significant section of the whole dart and the reason this dart is so popular is exactly that. The red, black and silver combination is striking with electro plating, a black onyx PVD coating and a scallop for good measure, these darts are extremely pretty. Dart YouTubers such as myself, the Darts Ref and Matador Darts all sport a similar colourway of red, black and white or silver in this case, and it's easy to see why. The colours complement each other and make this dart visually appealing, but is there more to it? Let's get close up and look at the grip, barrel shape and feel of the dart. Thankfully these darts have a black point, which has a lot more grip than the often supplied standard smooth silver point. The front is tapered with dual ring grips, which are rounded off at the edges, so it's quite a smooth feeling. The middle section however is more aggressive, and because of the wider gaps between the ring grips it makes it much more grippy and comfortable in your hands. This is also where the discrete scallop sits, which is very comfortable in hand and easy to identify as a reference point. The rear grip is the same as the front dual ring grip section without the taper, so there's plenty of grip on this dart, but it's not too abrasive. They come with the black force prism stems, and they rock the Rockstar flights to complete the look. These were pretty easy to throw from all three sections of the barrel. The front went pretty well considering the taper, and they feel like many well-made darts with tapers and ring grips. They flew straight and true and actually had a nice entry into the board. The middle grip though was so comfortable where the discrete scallop sits. You can feel it even if you can't see it that well. It makes it easier to find consistency if you hold the dart from the same place each time, which this will help you to do. The rear gave a higher tail and felt very comfortable and familiar for anyone who uses dual ring grips. I like to add this section so people can get an idea about how the dart may perform with specific flights. The truth is that with these darts they are actually nicely balanced and I threw with the scallop section each time. But with the Dimplex flights on, I hit a beautifully stacked 180. Check this out. That felt superb. I'm really enjoying the scallop in these, which isn't always the case, but it's the discreet nature of this one that makes you feel it less dramatically than other scallops. Because these barrels are not too long, the dart was never lower than parallel. The worst combination on these was actually the Robson Kite flights, which I just seemed to struggle to find consistent entry with but I even threw the Edgar Slim flights and 8 flight system well, with these albeit having a parallel entry, but they felt really easy to throw, making this dart not just a great looking dart that should be appealing to many, but also a great dart to throw, which gives us the answer to the question, why are these darts so popular?
So could it be that these darts just throw well that are making them so popular? This dart should be suitable for most players who like a 21 gram or 23 gram dart. It's also available in 20 gram soft tip and at just over 50 millimeters long it should be suitable for the majority of players. Joe Cullen has been improving as a player over the last few years and his popularity is increasing. Recently signing for Winmore, this is a new stage of his career and I think that actually it is a combination of his increasing success as a player, beautifully presented and visually appealing darts and a popular ring grip dart with an enticing and intriguing scallop that creates a winning combination. Thanks to all the people that tweeted back as to why they think Joe Cullens were so popular. These darts are finally back in stock after two sellouts and supply issues from the manufacturers and with Brexit and Covid. Some people actually received a different colour box as they had run out of the Joe Cullen specific ones. So if you missed your chance to get some, head on over to Dread Dragon or Winmore now and get your set of these beautiful looking, great flying and rockstar rocking darts. What a fantastic dart. I hope you enjoyed the review. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more from me and to help me grow the channel. I'm sporting an autism awareness in darts hoodie. Thanks to Henry Chill for sending that to me. On the 5th of April is Autism Awareness Day. Please show your support by subscribing to Autism Awareness in Darts. Fairness and equality is not just art specific. So please, be aware, be kind, and remember, love darts.